43 teams from around the country have gathered to compete for a $2 million cash prize and to see who can build the world's best robot. This is the DARPA Grand Challenge, where the objective is to create an autonomous self-navigating vehicle that can cross 150 miles of the most challenging desert terrain in the country. And it all starts here at the National Qualifying Event at the California Speedway. Almost anything goes at the DARPA Grand Challenge. Imagination is the only limit. Vehicles range from two-wheelers and ATVs to Hummers and 16-ton monster machines. Some robots are created from existing stock vehicles, while others are built from the ground up. But it's not the size or the way it looks that matters, it's all about intelligence, and whether these machines can accurately self-navigate a 2.2-mile obstacle course. Guess what? It's not that easy. For a closer look at this course, we'll follow Red Team's Highlander, Carnegie Mellon's H1 Hummer, who just might be the robot to beat. Launching under its own power, Highlander moves towards obstacle number one. Corrugated metal on either side of the cone simulate a steel gate. No problem for Highlander. Moving through the second barrier, the course runs by a parked car, then turns left with a terrain change from asphalt to grass, up a hill through two more sets of cones, then onto the next section of the course. The asphalt marks the high-speed section of the course, where vehicles are allowed to throttle up to 40 miles an hour on the straightaway. Next, the course turns right, then returns through the high-speed section, down the hill, then makes a right towards the hay bales. The tricky rows of hay narrow down to a single lane, an obstacle that would prove challenging to many teams. Upon entering the tunnel, robots will lose their satellite GPS signal, leaving them confused and forcing them to rely on alternative navigation. At the next set of cones, vehicles must avoid a stack of tires, then turn left through more cones and pass another parked car. Next, a series of quick turns and rough terrain will test vehicle dexterity, followed by a mountain pass simulation where robots must navigate between cone markers and a solid wall. After a few turns, the vehicles enter the home stretch where they must use obstacle avoidance technology to pass two parked cars, a set of bumps, and a tank spike. On its first run, Red Team's Highlander made this course look simple, but it wasn't that easy for everyone else. 